Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the Fujiwara effect, how two storms collide. Two storms whirling off the southeastern coast of the U.S. have raised concerns among observers. On one hand, Hurricane Idalia is crawling towards Florida's Gulf Coast. On the other, Hurricane Franklin is spinning around Bermuda. It must be noted that these two hurricanes are brewing in close vicinity. However, they are not expected to cross paths. But the news of both storms emerging simultaneously has triggered concerns. What might happen if the two storms collide? According to the National Weather Service, or NWS, when two hurricanes or cyclones, depending on your location, rotate in the same direction and come close to each other, they engage in an intense rotational dance around a shared center. This phenomenon, where two cyclones interact, is known as the Fujiwara effect. For the Fujiwara effect to take place, the eyes or centers of both storms should be less than 1,400 kilometers from each other. Sakuhei Fujiwara, a Japanese meteorologist, identified this phenomenon which was first described in a paper published in 1921. Many years later, the occurrence was observed in the Western Pacific Ocean when typhoons Marie and Cathy merged in 1964. First possibility. If one hurricane is stronger than the other, the smaller one will orbit around the larger one and eventually collide with its center, leading to absorption. Second possibility. If two storms of almost equal strength pass near each other, they might be drawn towards a shared center, potentially merging or simply swirling around each other temporarily before following separate paths. Third possibility. In rare cases, if the two cyclones are sufficiently powerful, they can combine, resulting in the formation of a super cyclone capable of causing significant destruction along coastlines. Fourth possibility, partial straining out happens, in which a part of the smaller storm is lost to the atmosphere. Fifth possibility, complete straining out takes place, in which the smaller storm is completely lost to the atmosphere. The straining out does not happen for storms of equal strength. Idalia was gaining strength as it moved northward, following a projected path that would take it across the Gulf of Mexico toward Florida's western coast. As it neared Cuba, it brought sustained winds of 112 km per hour, but meteorologists expected it to intensify into a Category 3 hurricane before reaching Florida. Certain areas of Florida were under hurricane warnings, with Idalia expected to make landfall. Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida warned during a press briefing about the significant impact likely from the storm, urging Floridians to take necessary precautions. The National Hurricane Center issued alerts for potential tropical storm conditions in Bermuda from Franklin, highlighting the chance of life-threatening surf and strong rip currents along the U.S. coastline in the coming days. After crossing Florida, Idalia was expected to hug the southeastern coastline of Georgia and the Carolinas before moving into the Atlantic. Franklin's projected path would place it above Idalia's anticipated position. But there is a remote possibility that the two storms will ever meet. The occurrence of the Fujiwara effect induces greater unpredictability in cyclones due to their rapid intensification, increased rainfall, and novel patterns of movement over warming oceans. This complexity arises from the distinct nature of interactions between two storm systems. In 2009, when typhoons Palma and Milo emerged, the Fujiwara effect created significant challenges for meteorologists attempting to predict the trajectories and strengths of these storms. This interaction led to widespread devastation in the Philippines as the weaker Typhoon Palmer unexpectedly gained strength, altered its path, and lingered over the Luzon region due to its interaction with the more powerful Typhoon Melor. A similar incident occurred in the Indian Ocean, as Cyclone Siroja and Cyclone Odette 
interacted just off the coast of Western Australia. This interaction caused Siroja to intensify and adopt unprecedented trajectories. Before this interaction, Siroja had already triggered flooding and landslides in Indonesia. Subsequently, Siroja maintained its strength and inflicted damage on 70% of buildings in the small Australian resort town of Kalbari. Also, the lack of research and historical data about the Fujiwara effect makes things difficult for weather agencies and observers. Thus, evaluating Fujiwara effect instances over extended timeframes remains challenging. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.